Okay, I'm going to show just a real quick way of uh, collecting information from your students. So I know you can give an assignment and you can have kids upload uh, pictures of their work into Google Classroom or into Seesaw. Uh, my issue with that is then you get, well, in for Seesaw especially, you get all, everything, one at a time. And I want to see everything in, in one space for my whole class and not have to look at each one. Uh, for just quick things like, you know, let's check to see how you did the math problem or let's uh, look at your spelling assessment. And I would have the kids work, this is for distance learning, obviously, I'm talking about. I'd have the kids work on their whiteboards at home with a dry erase marker. And then I'm going to have them upload the picture into a Google Slide presentation. So I will uh, show you. This works really easily on Google Meets. It, it takes one extra step for a Zoom if you're doing Zoom classes. So here's my uh, Google Slide presentation. I named it. I, put a title on my first one. And then what I did is I come down here to the drop down menu next to the plus, and I tell it I want to have a title only slide. Once you tell it you want whatever the layout is that you want, or you might want a blank one, most of the time, uh, if someone hits control M after that, you get the same layout. You don't have to then go back to the whole layout and delete the boxes and all of that. So have the same layout. So we use the video conferencing. I give my spelling quiz on, they write it on their whiteboards or ask them to work out a math problem, write it on the whiteboards. Now I want to collect that. So I'm going to instruct my students to go to insert image from camera. If you're on Zoom, so it would be here, ins insert image from camera. If you're on Zoom, Zoom does not allow the Zoom and another application to use the camera at the same time. So if you're on Zoom, you have to tell your kids, turn off your video on the Zoom before you try to use your camera. And of course, every time, if this is the first time you're using your camera for anything, you have to tell the kids to allow it. But if you're on Google Meets, you can have several tabs open that are using the camera at the same time. So there's it's very seamless there. So I've now given my spelling quiz. I'm going to ask my kids, my students to upload their, uh, uh, their work. So I come over here to share, change the share settings, which I've done here, changes so that anyone with the link can edit. So the first time you bring it up, it will be restricted. So then you want to change it to anyone with the link here. This one here, so restricted or anyone with the link. And then instead of viewer, can edit, okay? And then I'm gonna copy the link and go over into my chat feature on my uh, video conferencing, whether it's Zoom or me, go into chat and paste that. Control V, paste it into chat. Now on the student side, they will get that chat pop up. And for most cases, it will be a live link. If the student has a managed Chromebook at home and you're teaching from your personal iPad or personal computer that is not linked to the same domain, they will have to do a copy and paste. But most cases, it's a live link. So then the student gets it, they go in, they do, click on it, they pull up the, the, uh, the slide deck, and you just tell them, okay, hold up your work and take a, take a picture of it. So, uh, so sorry, control M first to make a new slide. And we should see one pop up here, there. So my Chromebook, so I have a Chromebook and an iPad also connected here. So the Chromebook has popped up and the iPad will pop up there. And then put your name in. So we're gonna call uh, this one, his name is Chrome. And the iPad's name of course has to be iPad, iPad. And then say, okay, now upload your picture. So, so my Chrome is going to go to insert, insert, image, 
from camera. If it's the first time you do it, you have to allow it. I'm just going to say, hold it up and take a picture. And insert. Boom. Let's watch it pop up. Let me put this into grid view and you can see it pop up. Oh, do you see it right there? So um, our students will learn to uh, move it and enlarge it, but I'm going to do it right here. There. So this is the example of my student's spelling list. Now my iPad is going to do the same thing, but I'm going to have my iPad show me his his math work. And on the iPad, it is the plus icon up at the top, image from camera. And for an iPad, the iPad assumes forward facing and we want selfie mode. And boom, take a picture. And let's watch this pop up here. Oh, I have to say use photo. Hello, that helps. And there it is. And so I can see my students' math work, how they, how that child uh, did his math work that day. Show me how I got this answer. In any case, um, Insert image from camera makes it fast. I like using whiteboards because it's got a nice contrast of light to dark as opposed to paper and pencil. It's really hard to get a good clean image that you can see well. And whether you use dry erase or wet erase, uh, it works. And then in the class setting, I can sit there with in grid view and see all of it pop up and look and see what's going on. Okay, so I hope that helps.